Hi, this is Vaishali Siddhapa and welcome to my channel which is Complemental Economics. So today's class which I am going to talk about, this is one of the four part question. So again it is a budget set question. So now almost we have covered two topics about budget set. The one is a pro uh, project oriented or yeah, practical oriented question. The second is today I uh, discussed with the last topic which is budget set. How you going to get the budget set, how exactly it is going to behave. And today's topic which we have that is a derivation and slope of the budget line. So it is a concept of budget line only. So it's going to talk about derivation and the slope of the budget line. What is the formula of slope of the budget line? So units of banana you are willing to sacrifice. I told you your income is very much limited. So if you, if you want to buy more of mango, you have to sacrifice banana. If you want more of bananas, you have to sacrifice mango. That is what we are trying to do it with the help of a, uh, help of a formula now. The slope of a budget line, it is equal to units of banana which is considered as the X. Willing to sacrifice because banana is in the X axis. So I have considered the X here. How many bananas units you are willing to sacrifice? How much you are exactly sacrificing? Units of man mangoes willing to gain. It's a in the Y axis. In the mango. So how many you are willing to sacrifice? So to buy extra units of a mango. So this is exact the exact formula which will be shown delta x divided by delta y. Delta it is a symbol which expresses change. So x is going to change. If x is going to decrease, so y is going to increase. So that means both are going to change. So that's why delta symbol what you have here, change in x divided by change in y. So now if I talk about the slope, so it is a negative slope. From the left to right, it is a downward slope. In the x-axis, you have banana. And the y-axis, you have mango. Change in x2 leads to change in x1. Yeah, change in x1 leads to change in x2. So why change in x1, change in x2? If you ask me, if you are going to buy more of bananas, which is called as x1, you have to sacrifice x2, which is mango. So that's why how much you are sacrificing, that will be shown with this particular mark, which will be this. So that's why this each time it will be expressing how much changing. That change will be represented by this. So that's why change in x2 in the y-axis, change in x1, it is in the x-axis, it's a So x1 is in x1 comma x2. So these are the two goods what we have discussed. x1 is banana, x2 is a mango. So now the extra thing which is added, the x1 is already there. You have a banana. And banana definitely the consumption is going to vary. It is going to change. So the change will be represented by change in x1. So x1 plus change in x1 comma. So you have x2 which is mango good that will be changed. So it will be called change in x2. Change in x2. So this way the equation what we are going to take. So now this is the slope. The about the slope we have discussed last previous classes. So not much dragging about this. So now we'll go with derivation of it. So we are now done with the slope. Why we are getting this kind of a slope? The simple reason is this formula. The simple reason is the theory logic. For one good you have to sacrifice another good. So if you want to understand the slope, why exactly it is like this, you have to see my previous two videos about budget set. Then you will realize why exactly this is. So now the question says, you have to go with the derivation of budget set. If you want to go with the derivation, so this is the mathematical expression what you have, the equation. You have the equation for the budget set. The budget set equation is P1x1 plus P2x2 lesser or equal than M. But exact, equal, so exact budget set what I have taken, that is P1x1 plus P2x2 is equal to M. So in this condition, you have to convert this equation to this. So how I am going to do this? P2x2, I am going to keep it the same, is equal to M the same. P1x1, I am going to take it that side. So this is before the equal, so it is a positive one. So I have taken to that side after the uh, equal, so definitely the symbol should be changed, which is minus. 
I have, I have taken this side. So definitely it will be coming in the dividing one. So now x2 is equal to m by p2 minus p1 by p2 x1. So this is the equation finally what we are getting to analyze the budget set in the future analysis. So you have the equation. So you came with, uh, you just have taken p1 x1 after the equals. So x2, the p2 you divided to this and x2 will remain the same. The p2 is com common for both the things. So you have taken this. So this is the one of the derivation what you have converted this into this. y is equal to mx plus c. So y is equal to mx plus c. So this is the way how we have derived this. So now you have an equation this p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equal to m. The further derivation what we are going to do is we are going to take it p1 in the place of x1 what we have here is x1 plus change in x1 then plus take p2 in the place of x2 you have x2 plus change in x2 x2 plus change in x2 so which is equal to m so i have taken exact derivation so instead of only x so in the x in the slope you have to consider x1 is equal to change in x1 for x2 you have to consider x2 plus change in x2. So I have done the same thing now. So now go with the multiplication. P1 into x1. P1 x1. P1 into x1. P1 x1. Plus P1 into change in x1. P1 change in x1. Plus P2 x2. P2 into x2. Plus P2 change in x2. Into P is equal to M. So now, I'll bring this equation again to subtract this. P1 x1 plus P2 x2 is equal to M. So now, just see this and start substituting each other. M, M, it's common. So I have crossed it. P2 x2, P2 x2, P1 x1, P1 x1. So what is left? P change in x1 plus P2 change in x2 is equal to 0. So what we have got now, so P uh, change in x1 and P change in x2. So what would I do now is, I'll keep it the P1 x1. So it's clear now, it, is it visible? So what would I do now is, I'm going to take this the same change in x1. I'll take p2 change in x2 that side. p2 change in x2. Tell me what i supposed to do. I have to add a symbol because this is after that. So it's a 0. I do not have any of the number. So what would I do is change in x1. I'll keep it the same. I'll take this side. So which is minus it will become plus change in x2 is equal to I'll carry the minus p2 divided by p1. Can you see this? Change in x1 divided by change in x2. So I have taken x1 the same. x2 is equal to p2 divided by p1. So minus p1. So this is the final equation slope and derivation of the budget set. So in your textbook it is not much clearly solved. So I hope you understood exactly what it is. So with this, so I'll be meeting so in the next classes, it's okay. I made one mistake here. Just have patience now. So I'll take uh, P2 this side. Change in. Okay. So wait. I'll take P1. P2 this side is equal to. I'll take change in X2 by this. Change in x1. So this should be minus. If I change cross change it. So then it will be change in x2 by change in x1 is equal to minus p1 by p2. So it should
should be P1 by P2 instead of P2 by P1. Sorry for that. So P1 by P2 is equal to minus change in X2, change in XY. So twice was a change. Change in X2 divided by change in X1 is equal to minus P1 by P2. So this will be the final derivation of your theorem. So if you are liking my videos, please subscribe it and uh, press the bell icon so to continue uh, you know notification in a future. Thank you so much.